Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple with our next YouTube mini class. Are you ready? We have YouTube number 120 for you and it's a twofer today. We are featuring Sizzix dies and Sizzix stamps, but the stamps don't have any dies that match them. But they're really cool stamps. <laughs> And also the dies that we did at National Scrapbook Day. I think, I think you need to see how they're used. Just so when you get them, for those of you who have already ordered them, you don't get a little confused. And for those of you who didn't order them yet, you're going to see why you're going to want to order them. Now, it is almost Mother's Day 2015. And happy Mother's Day, Mom! <laughs> and to all of you moms out there, whether you be a mom of a fur baby or... Uh, a mom of children or a mom to somebody who really needs a mom. That's all that matters. Mom, Moms mean a lot of things to a lot of people. So if you're considered a mom, happy Mother's Day to you. Super quick for Mother's Day, I thought I'd tell one of my mom a uh, mom story. Um, <laughs> my mom was given uh, tickets to go see Tom Jones one year for Mother's Day and uh, I was if I was even born yet, I don't even know, but it was it was a long, long time ago. So she and her best friend Judy were given tickets to go see Tom Jones in Las Vegas. We're in California, we're about four hours away, so we can drive to Vegas. And um, you know, if you don't know who Tom Jones is, that's okay. <laughs> He's kind of like a Bono or a Mick Jagger. He's that sexy symbol type of guy that <laughs> women throw their panties at. <laughs> I never understood that, but okay, no judgment here. <laughs> so they were in Vegas to see him. And again, you know, I'm going to be 47 and I'm not even sure I was born when they went to see him in, in Vegas. And, um, and after the show, they went to the souvenir place that sold the t-shirts and the hats and the mugs and they each bought themselves a Tom Jones record. Okay, what's a record? <laughs> it's this round thing. <laughs> it's vinyl. It played music. You put it on your record player and music came out of it because I'm sure this, that she went and saw Tom Jones before there was even cassette tapes or eight track tapes and I'm not going to discuss what an eight track tape is. If you know what I'm talking about, you're going, oh my. <laughs> So they bought their records and they went to sit down in a lounge at Vegas and uh, they were sitting in the lounge clutching their Tom Jones records. They were all excited. They had just seen Tom Jones. <laughs> and, um, and these men were walking around looking at him, you know, kind of checking him out. <laughs> and, you know, my mom was like, you know, why are these, why, why are these men walking around looking at us, you know? And, it was a lot of men and not a lot of women in the lounge and it finally dawned on my mom and Judy that they were in the the um the call girl lounge <laughs> where women would go and 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 men would you know and my mom I guess mom and Judy were mortified for a few minutes because they were sitting in what used to be a call girl lounge in Vegas I don't think they have those anymore but I haven't been to Vegas in a while and uh, and after they were mortified they got a little miffed because nobody <laughs> nobody asked them out <laughs> <gasps> oh, oh my gosh, what are we doing in here? It was like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I've got all that going on in a bag of chips. <laughs> so anyway, that's my mom's story for today. And um, <laughs> happy Mother's Day, mom. I am going to, oh, I got a winner, winner to announce. So let's do that really quick. We've got winner, winner from YouTube number 119. So if you want to be a winner, all you have to do is post a comment on this YouTube and next YouTube, I'll pick a couple winners to win some great prizes. These nice girls are going to win some Anita's decoupage and some Winka Stella pens. Are you ready to hear if it's you? If you're Andrea Beecroft, Andrea Beecroft, congratulations. Or if you're Patty Eifert, Eifert, congratulations, Andrea and Patty. You are our most current winner, winner chicken dinners. How are you going to claim your prize? It's easy peasy. You're going to email us. Where are you going to email us? Ah, oh, you thought you might know. You're going to say ask SMS at earthlink.net. No, no, no. We have a new email address just for winner, winner chicken dinner. 
so those emails don't get lost in the shuffle of everything. Are you ready to hear where you're going to email us? You're going to email us at the word winner, W-I-N-N-E-R, at scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Winner at scrapbookingmadesimple.com. That easy. Put your name, address, telephone number, and tell us you're the winner, winner from YouTube number 119, and we will get your prizes out to you just as quickly as possible. Where are you going to email? Winner at scrapbookingmadesimple.com. So when you're done watching this YouTube, then you guys are going to go post your comments, and you might hear your name next time. <laughs> All right, I'm going to tilt on down, and we're going to get started for today. Are you guys ready? Down we go. Bye. She really was mortified. I mean, I'm mortified that they were in there and then totally upset that nobody asked him. <laughs> it was, you know, you can't win for losing. So anyway, <laughs> here is, a, here's the card, one of the cards that we did. We did this for a make and take. This is using a new stamp set by Jen Long and Sizzix. There is not a coordinating die to go with it. These are just true stamp sets, but what they've done is they've made the stamp sets interchangeable. So I'm going to show you how we did this one, and then in the die segment, this is a Jen Long die, I'm going to show you how we did this, how you can cut this. So easy using her dies. They made it just simple, 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 which is always lovely. I am going to put these aside for now, and I'm going to get started. I'm going to pull one of the sets over and we're going to be using the cake set because it's so stinking cute and it's so versatile. Now, as you can see, you've got the cake on the stand, but what you might not be able to say, see is that the word celebrate is actually a separate stamp and can be pulled out. In its place, you can put a very happy birthday to you or I love you more than cake. Those will also fit in that center of the cake or if you leave the cake completely empty with no sentiments, you're just doing a cake. They've also included toppers. So you can put roses on this, you know, on your cake on the tops or down the tiers. You can put candles. There's a bride and groom. You really have lots of options and the price is awesome. They're $10. That's the retail. Now, of course, we're going to have them on sale, but you just can't go wrong. So I'm going to, I'm going to pull this off and I'm gonna grab my block. I am using a Tim Holtz grid block because we really like them. They're thin, I can feel the pressure of when I'm pressing. We are using clear stamps. So here is the cake all by itself with nothing in the center. And I could stamp the cake all by itself. So let's ink it up. Let me get my gush pad. Remember, you always wanna have a gush pad underneath you. This is one quarter the size of the gush pad. We have to cut it up. Um, just because it's so darn big, there's no reason for it. But when we, if you buy it online, remember we have to cut it in half and ship it to you. But chances are you were gonna cut it in half and then maybe cut it into fourths anyway. And for $3.99, because that's what it costs, you wanna share this. I mean, you can, you can use it, your friends can have a, a gush pad, everybody can. But the nice thing about it is that you can feel the pressure, how much pressure you're giving into. And I'm on a Tim Holtz grid block so it's not too thick so I can feel what I'm doing. Now remember, you're not doing chest compressions when you're stamping, you're just giving nice all over pressure. And then pull up, and there's my cake. Now I could decorate that any way I want, but let's say I wanna use the sentiments that are in it. Easy peasy, I've got my cake on my block, then I'm gonna grab I'm going to grab one of the sentiments and they're cut to fit inside. So you're not going to stamp twice. You're going to put it right in there. You're going to line it on up because it fits right nicely inside. You're going to push it down and it's ready to stamp. So let's stamp. Let's ink it up. I am using Memento ink today. And the reason I'm using Memento ink is because we're going to color these in with chameleon markers. And chameleon markers are an alcohol-based marker, very similar to a Copic or a Spectrum Noir, being that it's alcohol-based. That's about where the similarities end. But you do need to use a Memento ink so that the ink does not smear when I'm using my Copic. Now you see I'm giving nice all over pressure and then I'm going to pull 
and now I've got it with the sentiment. And I didn't have to stamp twice and I could change that sentiment out. I could put in the celebrate sentiment. But what if I wanted to add, um, what if I wanted to add a little bit of extra? They've got candles, they've got roses. That is where you are going to stamp separately. If you look at the stamp, you'll see that there is a, um, a piece of the acrylic, the uh, holding it down. You're not going to be able to put your little candles or your roses on top and make it fit nicely because it will have that little bulge right there. So when you're doing your candles or your roses or your topper, then you are going to need to pull it off and stamp separately. So let's pull it off really quick. I'm just going to put it down on this end. I've got my candles. I'm going to ink it up with my memento. And then I'm just going to line them right up with my cake. And poof. Now I've got my candles on my cake. Her stamps are very easy to use. Most of them are very open, so they're great for coloring. And that's where the chameleons come in. So I'm going to stamp this one more time. Let's put this one aside. I'm going to stamp this one more time. I am using a smooth white sheet of cardstock. So you want to use a smooth cardstock when you're stamping. Nothing with a uh, texture to it like a linen or an orange peel or a crisscross. I'm putting my stamp right back on. And for those of you who have never seen stamping before, if this is your first time, this is a clear stamp and this is an acrylic block. The clear stamp sticks to the acrylic block by static. Not There's no sticky on here at all. It's all done by static. And you can take it on and off and on and off and use it again and again and again for forever, as a matter of fact. And when it's time to clean them, I just take a baby wipe and just clean it right on off with a baby wipe. All right, so let's put, let's go ahead and let's put Celebrate in there. And I'm just going to say, I'm just going to drop that Celebrate right in the middle of the cake. I'm going to ink up with my Memento, which is really the best all-purpose ink we have found for everyday stamping. We love the Memento. It comes in so many colors. It doesn't smear. It's fast drying. And let's stamp. And again, nice all-even pressure. And what's happening with this gush pad is, again, my stamp is sinking into the paper. Since I'm not on a hard table, the stamp has something to gush into. So it's making really great contact with that paper. Some people say they're terrible stampers. I bet you're not. I bet you're a great stamper. I bet you're stamping on a hard surface and you're not getting great contact. And again, we're not doing chest compressions. Not trying to revive the stamp. And there we go. Easy to do. She makes, I want to say, six different sets, and I will show you all the sets, but I want to show you how to color as well. So I'm going to stick this to the side for now, and I'm going to bring out my, uh, my chameleons. Now, I've done a YouTube on chameleons before. Let's get the cover on the memento so I don't stick my hand in it, because <laughs> that's me, and that's exactly what I would do. <laughs> We've done a YouTube on the chameleons before. These are an alcohol-based marker. They are alcohol like a Copic or a Spectrum Noir. That doesn't mean they're here to replace Copic or Spectrum Noir. They're to be used in conjunction with, and these really are a great marker for people who do not know how to shade and shadow and want to do really cute stamps like this, open stamps that are not huge but they want to get that look of the shading and the shadowing, which with a Copic or a Spectrum Noir, you need at least three markers to do. With the Chameleons, you just need one. Now, this is the size of the Chameleon, but not really, because when you open it, there's the actual marker. This is a blending chamber. Inside this chamber is a diffuser or blending solution, and inside there is a little nib. We're going to do a tip-to-tip -tip infusion with the marker. It's so easy to do. So you're really not using 
this all the time. You're really using more of this. Now where the gray line is, that always tells you that that's your brush uh, tip side and that's the side we're going to use. There's my brush tip. The other side has more of a bullet tip, which we don't use too often, but you can. I've got my brush tip and let's just grab a piece of paper over here and I'm, oh, the marker's running good. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put that white nib right on top of it. So right now it's doing a tip to tip infusion. Can you see that? And what's happening is that the gravity is feeding down, the blending solution is feeding down from this top chamber into the ink, the nib of the ink, and it's lightening the color. And the longer you hold it, the longer you count, the lighter your color is going to be. Anywhere from 5 seconds to 40 seconds, it's up to you. The big thing about this is that you have to keep the blending solution in that white nib facing down because it is a gravity feed. If I, oh, you can even see that the, you can see the nib is a different color. If I was to face it this way where the ink chamber is facing down, it's that same gravity feed and what's going to happen is that the ink is going to infuse into my nice clean white nib. And I'll be forcing the ink into the blending solution which is not what I want. I need to keep that window at the top. That window needs to be at the top. You need to see that. And then what's going to happen is I probably have a lot of blending solution in there right now. What's going to happen is it's going to change colors as the blending solution wears off. I'm going to keep my pin very upright and I'm not going to pick up my pin once I start. Slow and steady wins the race and I'm going to go start to finish without picking up my marker. I haven't picked up my marker yet. I haven't picked up my marker yet. Do not pick up your marker. Slow and steady wins the race. And with one pen, I was able to get my highlight, my midtone, and my shadow. So let's do it again. I always like to kind of make sure my nib is straight, and I will tell you that Chameleon does give you extra nibs with the sets so that if one of your nibs gets a little you know used you can replace it and they do sell the nibs they're very inexpensive I think it's 10 for three dollars and 99 cents open stock but you will get some with your sets so now with my pin upright I'm going to connect it so you can see the two tips are talking to each other and that blending solution is filtering down into that colored tip so it's lightening my color and the longer you hold it the longer the color will stay light because that blending solution has to work out before the original color comes back through. Anywhere from 5 to 40 seconds. Now some people say, well, I'm great with Copics. That's awesome. These aren't necessarily, they're not meant to replace your Copics. This is a quick fix. This is an easy way to color without pulling out a million different Copics. If you want to do something fast and easy and you want that look, Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. So cute. All right, let's do the bottom one. We'll do one more. So again, I'm going to connect it. And you see, by not picking up your pin, that's important because you can't start up here and then move down here because that blending solution is meant to be a gradation from top to bottom or side to side or outward. Let's say I wanted my light source. Let's say I wanted my light source to be right here as if light was hitting it straight on. Let's do that one. If I wanted my light source to be right here so the light as if the light was hitting this straight on, then my my highlight is going to be in the center. Ooh, lots of blending solution in here. 
This time, as opposed to starting top to bottom, I'm going to start from the side out. And I'm just going to keep going. I've got my pin upright, slow and steady. I'm not rushing. I'm going back over slowly, filling in all the spaces. Okay, there's half. Now I'm going to turn it to the other side and I'm going to do the exact same thing. And I'm going to work this way out. Your, your light source doesn't always have to be top to bottom. It could be on a diagonal. I could have done everything on a diagonal as if the sun was shining this way. Right now I'm doing the bottom as if the sun is shining this way. I could do it from this side and work on a diagonal. So the sun was shining this way. So my lightest points would be up here. They're very easy to use. They're very forgiving, I have to tell you. And if you're not, if you're not a, a colorer, if you're not a real colorer where you really want to get in there, this is a great solution to give you all of that look that, uh, that you see with Lawn Fawn and Avriel and Sizzix and all of those beautiful little girls that are colored so easy. This is a great way to do it, all of these small stamps. So let's go ahead. Oh yeah, lots of blending solution in there. And keep my pen upright. And once I start going, I don't stop. Slow and steady. Wins the race. So now it looks like my light source is coming straight on. It's up to you how you want to do it, but one marker gave you that kind of coverage and that kind of gradation. And yes, it does look like it took you forever to color it, but no, you didn't. And it does look like it took three or four pins to get the light and the medium and the dark and all blended, but no, it didn't. It was one simple pin. Okay, what do you not do with these pins? You do not put them back together again and just leave them. There is a cap. When you are done using it, that cap goes on. Then you can hook them back together again because now there's a cap on this end so it's never going to touch my, my, my infuser right there. There's a cap on this end. You want to put them back together again. It is so important that when you put them together to get the infusing, that window and that white nib is pointing down. If you do it this way, you're going to take the ink and you're going to push it into the blending solution. Oh my gosh, you did that. What do you do? It's okay. Don't worry. There's a way to fix it. All you have to do is take uh, some cotton balls, get them in there, some cotton balls, and you're going to leave this facing down. You're going to have that little nib facing down and you're going to let those cotton balls absorb that ink and you're going to pull that ink back out. Your nib may never turn white again. It, it may be stained, but that's okay. It's not ruined. You have not ruined your pins, trust me. You may have to refill your blending solution because it might take enough blending solution to get all that ink out. But yes, the pins are completely refillable and we do have the refills on a very limited, 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 limited basis. <laughs> David at Chameleon made sure we had all they had and they didn't have a lot so we've got we've got the the sets for you and i'll show you those and we've got the refills but look at how beautiful easy to do and i could have gone up here and i could have colored the whole darn thing and you see i keep a little cheat sheet over here just to make sure that everything's running the way i want and if my nib ever gets a little too frayed i just roll it back into itself so it makes a nice point so I can connect it to the top. This is one of the nibs. It's not white anymore. It's blue. Can you see that? The nib is blue. That's because the ink was left upside down. Is it ruined? No, the nib is going to stay blue. But the blending solution that comes out of it is clear. And when I connect them, it's perfect. It's not a problem. Now, they do have the refills, and I will tell you, they have a set of tweezers that lets you go in there and grab it and pull it out so you can refill it. 
We just got these yesterday, the tweezers. Can you see they have a little, uh, a little um, hook, a little piece right here? that uh, bends in so you can really grab them. It lets you grab that, that piece out, pull it out, and then you can go in and refill. See, see how blue that is? And then I can take the blending solution, the refill, and go in there and refill it and then put that right back together again. And yes, I'm sure they will have nibs for this side too, so if your nib does go blue and it's driving you crazy, you'll be able to replace it. But love the little tweezers because they fit perfectly and they, they have those little hooks that let you really grab onto it so you can uh, refill. Same here. You're going to grab the little nib, you're going to pull it, and then you can refill your pin and then put it right back in. You don't want to do it with your hand, they're a little messy. Okay, so super cute and super easy to do. What's the moral of the story? Slow and steady wins the race and you never, never pick up your pen once you start coloring. Now, can you use these just as regular markers? Sure, I could go in there and I could just use them without any, any um, infuser at all and just color and make them just a regular marker, absolutely. If you don't wanna vary the color and have that gradation, not a problem, you can use it just as a regular marker. Can I mix them with my Copics and my Spectrum Noirs? Yes, absolutely, it's an alcohol-based marker. You can blend them together, you can mix them and match them. Do I need to use Memento ink to do this? Yes, you do, that way it doesn't smear. Now this is just basic cardstock. We did not use really nice cardstock for alcohol markers, and if we did, it would even look better than this, but frankly, I think that looks pretty darn good. <laughs> And for those who can't color, well, now you can. So, with, uh, with uh, Jen Long's new stamps being interchangeable and all the combinations you can make and then the chameleons making you look like a wizard in coloring, I don't see how you can go wrong. I want to show you some samples of them, of what we've done. And they were all done using Chameleon. Let me move this out of the way. So let me show you some samples. All right, so here, and there's the roses on the top. Super cute, all done with the Chameleon pins. Here it is in yellow with the candles on the top. This one says celebrate. This one is have a very happy birthday. Did it in the green, so cute. Love the pink. And then we did single roses because it comes with the roses on the sides, super cute. But then we did some of Jen's other stamps. Here's the arrows that I'm gonna show you. And here is the jar. Mason jars are so popular right now. Look at the little bee, isn't it cute? <laughs> and then the cupcake. And all of these have interchangeable elements to them. Here, she just made a pretty card and just used the sentiment. Isn't that gorgeous? And then here's a blinged up version of our birthday cake. We've got stickles going on there and just beautiful. And then the flourish. All done with Chameleon and Jen Long stamps by Sizzix. Let me grab the stamps so I can show you the sets. And yes, they all will be on a YouTube Yummy. So here's this one. There's the stamp, and then it comes with several sentiments that you can put in the middle and interchange, there we go. Interchange them. So it comes with the stamp and one, two, three, four, five different sentiments that you can put in the center to interchange them. That's a useful stamp. Then we have the camera, the Polaroid, with the picture here and down here where it says we click. You can put in smile, you can put in selfie. They all have interchangeable elements. Here we have the cupcake. Oh, that cupcake was so stinking cute. Here we have the cupcake. Not only do you get the main cupcake, but you get the cupcake on the tier 
really darling. And the banner is what has the interchangeable elements. You can change the words inside the banner. There's one, two, three, four. There's six different sentiments that you can put inside the banner of your cupcake. And I just love the, the cupcakes on the, the cake stand. Just darling. So we've got that. And then we've got the cake that I was doing. So there's the set that I was working with. And then the arrows, and I showed you a uh, card done with the arrows. Let's see if I can fish it out. So cute with all the arrows. And again, inside you have all the interchangeable elements. So all the different words will fit inside. And last but not least is the jar. and the different sentiments will fit inside the jar. Or, of course, you can always use the sentiments all by themselves. You don't have to use them with the jar at all. And that jar card was so cute. They're $10 each. They'll be on sale, so less than 10 bucks. They'll be 20% off, so $8. You can't go wrong. They're just darling. All right, so that's using the new stamps. Oh, there's the arrow one. The new stamps with uh, from Sizzix and Jen Long and Chameleon Pins. Next, I want to move to the dies by Jen. I'm going to put these out of my way, and I want to move to the dies by Jen because she has a whole die collection as well. And this is one that we did for National Scrapbooking Day and it's super cute. It makes the easiest card with, again, an interchangeable element. That's so nice to have. But when I saw the die the first time, I thought, oh, why did they do that? But now I know why they did that and I wanna tell you, so when it comes time for you to play with them, you don't look at it and say, hmm, is something wrong here? Because it isn't. It's perfect. It's exactly the way it's supposed to be. These are thinlets. So they're the wafer thin dies. And the first time I saw this piece, I said, holy smokes, artichokes. <laughs> I said, what is this? <laughs> okay, they got really, really, really smart. As opposed to leaving this as a flat piece with little holes so you could poke it out. They went ahead and they cut out the center label that you can use. It doesn't affect this die at all, but it gave you this piece to use in conjunction with. There is no cutting edge on this piece at all. It's not going to cut anything. Your cutting edges are those little ridges on the side. And remember, this is a wafer die. It's a, a wafer thin die. So um, it's not gonna cut your heavy chipboard. Um, although with a precision plate, it now will cut shimmer sheets and fun foam and fabric, but it's a wafer die. And Sizzix is what you see is what you cut. So the cutting edge is right on the outside edge. And they're kid friendly. You can see they're not sharp. It's not a blade that's there. It is a pressure that is cutting these. They're called chemically etched dies. And when you put the pressure of the rollers of the machine on, on it with the paper, that is what cuts the paper. So they're very, very safe. But when I saw this, I said, okay, what? But then it made sense. They wanted to give you the most they could give you. So they took that out of the center so that they could give you this. They actually then put in other pieces. They cut other pieces out of there too. It was awesome. I wanna show you how to use this piece because it looks a little bit funky. I'm gonna pull this out of my way. First thing you're going to need is ideally a piece of 12 by 12 car, uh, paper, whether it be cardstock or your printed paper. I like double-sided paper because then the card has, um, has two different colors to it or a solid card stock is fine, but you're gonna take your six, uh, your 12 by 12 and you're gonna cut it down to a six by 12. You're just gonna cut it in half. That's all you're gonna do is cut it in half. Then you're going to fold it in half. You're just gonna fold it in half so now you have like a six by six card. This is where it's important that you, you follow through 
and you read the directions or you watch me. <laughs> On these two edges, there's no cutting. These two edges right here, there's, there's no little cutting blade. They're flat. These two edges are going to be held slightly off slightly off your scored edge. So this is my scored edge right here. My card opens down here. I've got those cutting edges slightly off. And see how my card fits on it? So it's slightly above that scored edge. If I held it down here, it's not going to work. I need them to be slightly higher than that scored edge. I'm going to bring over my Big Shot, and for today we're using our standard Big Shot, but yes, you could absolutely use this with the Big Shot Plus, not a problem at all. It's just my Big Shot Plus was downstairs for National Scrapbooking Day, and it didn't come back upstairs. I am using my magnetic platform, but if you don't have a magnetic platform, you don't need one. Your Big Shot came with a multi-purpose platform, and you would use that multi-purpose platform completely closed. You would have all tabs completely closed. However, if you have a magnetic platform, you are going to put your clear plate down, and this is the clear plate that's going to be cut into because we're cutting into the magnetic platform. We're cutting down. And I'm going to line that up. Actually, I think I'm going to turn it this way. So remember, my open edge is here. My two sides that need to be slightly held off are here. Can you see them? They're slightly held off the paper. And then I'm going to put my Do Not Cut plate. And I have made my Do Not Cut plate one of the colored, the new colored plates from Ellison. That way I know it's not, it's my Do Not Cut plate. I don't have to write Do Not Cut on it anymore. Everybody knows my pink plate means Do Not Cut. And I'm going to send it through. I want to make sure that that's one slightly off. A little bit down further. There we go. Make sure it's slightly off. Okay. Line it up send it on through. You may hear some creaks and some cracks. Oh, there you go. It's okay. It's Don't worry about it. Just keep on rolling. Go, 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 go. This is a one-time pass. You shouldn't... Oh, see, hear that? No, it's okay. You're, you're all right. <laughs> you shouldn't have to roll back through, but some of you like to go backwards and forwards. It's completely up to you. And this is trash. This is the piece that I'm left with. And you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> what does this do? Well, now you have to fold it. You have to, there's score. You're going to fold it here. And here. You're going to get those score lines that are already built in right there. I'm nice and folded. Let me move this out of my way real quick. So this is what you've got, but that's not what we're trying to get to. Now all you do is fold this back onto each other. If you have a bone folder, you can take a bone folder to score that. I just use my fingers. And I'm going to take this one and I'm going to fold it back onto itself. And I'm lining up here and here. And I'm just going to take it and fold it right back onto itself. And now I have made my card. Super cute! easy to do. Fun. But now you've got this gaping hole in here. That's where this piece comes into play that comes with the die. Let's take this one off. Let's move this out of the way. And let me just grab a piece of paper. Hopefully I cut big enough. Did. Wahoo! <laughs> a 
Again, I've got my clear plate on my Sizzix. Yes, these will go through your Cuddle Bug. Yes, they'll go through your Sizzix Big Shot Plus. Yes, they'll go through your Vagabond. Put it there. Put my Do Not Cut plate right on top. Send it on through. And this is what we have. But what do you do with it? Let's move this back over. See these little tabs here and here? This piece fits right into those little tabs, holding it in place. And now you decorate. <laughs> How cute is this? <laughs> Love it! <laughs> And I love that they're, they're, they're affordable. They're awesome. I love this die set. There's three of them, I think, that have this feature because you could just use this all by itself. I mean, absolutely, you could use that for a label. Or in some of the other sets, they have different shapes that it comes with. You can mix and match and interchange. And oh my gosh, and then she's got words. Where are the words? Oh my gosh. She's got, I love the thank you. She's got a thank you. And of course the thank you fits, the die fits. Let's see if I can open it up. This one's a brand spanking new one. I guess it's mine now. <laughs> That's okay, I really like it. <laughs> We've got the thank you and the thank you fits. Let's see if I can cut the thank you really, really quick just because I'm now really excited. <laughs> Simple things make me so happy. <laughs> I'm easy to please. <laughs> let's grab a piece of white paper. Let's put our thank you on. Let's get our cup or do not cut plate, which is now my colored plate, so I know the difference. <laughs> now I didn't take this one back. I think it should pop pretty easy. Oh yeah. I need to pop it out, so let's get some. I don't have my tweezers with me and I don't have my tool in one <laughs> and these are meant not to can I get it oh I got a piece <laughs> that's not gonna do me any good let's see if I can get it out with my tweezer or with my scissors oh that's gonna give me all my little pieces I don't have a little a little poppy so I can get it out I should have used some wax paper but I was in such a rush oh man I don't have anything here handy to pop that piece out with. Really? Oh, now I'm sad. Oh well. In there is a great die. <laughs> Do I have anything? Do I have something in my... Ha! Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> oh my gosh, how cute is this? All the little bits and pieces come out. Let me move this out of the way. My good old fashioned red pin came to the rescue. <laughs> Look at how beautiful it cut. Now if I had used wax paper, it would have fallen right out, but I didn't know I was gonna cut this until just about right now. But I wanted you to see how darling it is. The thank you is beautiful. The love is beautiful. And it fits right on the card. Oh my gosh, how awesome is that? And then you decorate. So when you get this die, any of the dies, and you see the piece cut out of the middle, don't worry, it's not going to cut that piece out when you send it on through. Remember, it's going to cut just like this. Ooh, tore it. Never mind. <laughs> it's going to cut <laughs> just like this. Well, don't do that then. Don't pull too hard. It's going to cut just like this. And then you have to score and fold. But it's not going to cut this little piece right out. And then Jen has designed all the little um, extra dies to finish them out. I really do think that they're wonderful because there's so much you can do with them. And it really is just that easy. So cute. And of course, if you've got your own sayings 
or your own stamps. You can stamp this or fill this with anything you want. It doesn't have to be. It can be whatever you want. You've got the main die. That's the important part. You've got this to get this far. And now it's up to you to be creative and decide what you're going to put in there. All right. I want to show you real quick uh, some of the dies that it comes with. Well, here's the thank you. <laughs> I love the thank you. I was very excited about the thank you. Now the thank you belongs to us, but that's okay. We like it. I like it. I'm happy. The girls will be thrilled. The SMS girls will be thrilled that they get to play with it. <laughs> Let me pull the rest of them over, and then I'm going to pull show you the samples. So first off, I want to show you the sets. So this is, this is the, uh, mason jar set so do I have I do have a mason jar so here's the set and you can see the mason jar is cut out of the center that's okay it's all right don't worry this is the mason jar set boy that glare is bad here's the mason jar made ready to decorate on the inside. How cute is this? The die is $19.99 and then it's gonna be on sale. Oh my gosh, so there's the mason jar, that's one of them. This is the one we were using, which makes here. That was our free make and take. Then we have a different shape. It's similar to the one we just did, but a little different. So this one has got notched out corners. Ready? Oh! <laughs> Is that the cutest thing ever? Oh my gosh. And of course it comes with the piece to, it comes with the pieces to do the layering. You get them both in there. Is that not darling? And again, they're $19.99 and then they're gonna be on sale. It's a card ready to, it's done. You're ready to go. And then last but not least is one that's folded like a traditional card. Very much like a traditional card. So I know I have one of those. Here we go. And then you open. Oh, we'll do it this way. So open it this way. And there's your card. So all the middle pieces that come with the different dies, the jar and this shape and the others, they can be interchanged with the bases. You don't have to use the same middle with the same base. If you buy this die and you get this middle, it will absolutely work inside this one. They all mix and match. They all interchange. That's functionality. That's, that's really awesome when you're given product that you can use with other things in conjunction to even be more created. How cute is the happy birthday to you? Yep, that's a die. These are just beautiful. So those are the four dies that are the base dies. Then we have a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of the embellishing dies the thank you and a beautiful frame and the love you've got a couple embossing folders if you want to add texture oh i've got two of the frame there's the all my love and it does this one comes with another frame gives you another frame to work with that will work with all four of the base dies this one gives you another insert with thoughts of you that will work with all of the base dies. 
And those are $12.99. You get the frame, you get the words, you get the embellishment, everything you see. And then a couple stamp sets and die sets that will all work. All right, let me finish showing you some of the rest of the samples. So we had the one opening. There's the love. There's that frame. And then just a basic standard card. Using the frame, they cut out and used the negative space and glittered it for thoughts of you. We've got this darling tag, and this is fun foam. The happy birthday to you is cut out of fun foam. Go to your local craft store, buy fun foam. Your wafer dies will cut it because it compresses so far down. Look at the cute little thank you note card. That was done with that thank you that I love so much. It's beautiful. Just a simple little note card. Darling. And then we have here. That's the stamp and the die set. That's this set right here. Stamped and then colored in. And then this one's gorgeous. I think I saved the best for last. So here we go. And you open it and it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Who wouldn't want to get this? I want to get this. I want it. Somebody mail this to me. <laughs> it's beautiful. All done by Jen Long and Sizzix. So what have we shown today? What have we talked to you about today? We have talked to you about Jen Long's new stamp sets and how they are completely interchangeable. How you can take elements out and put other elements in to make it exactly what it is you want it to say. We've talked about her stamp sets because these are standalone stamp sets. They don't have dies that necessarily work with them. You're, you're not going to find a die that cuts out that cake. But my goodness, they're so cute. I want to say there's six different sets. They'll all be on sale. And we use them with, in conjunction with, our chameleon pins. So we have the, the full kit of chameleon. And then we have the five packs. This is the full one. This comes with all 20 colors. It comes with a blending solution. It comes with a black detail pin. It comes with 10 extra nibs. It is $100. It will be on sale. It is a better value if you can do this versus buying them in the smaller packages. The smaller packages you get five and you get some tips. You don't get the extra blending, you don't get the extra detail pin, and it's $26.99. So if you can swing the, the full set of chameleons, you're going to want them because they do make beautiful, beautiful different projects. Absolutely gorgeous here. This one cupcake. Totally done with chameleon pins, the whole thing. Slow and steady wins the race on these. Remember, keep your pin upright, and once you start, do not pick up your pen. Okay? Um, so we talked about her stamp sets, we've talked about the chameleon pins, we've talked about her new dies, and the four different base dies that she has that give you all the functionality and interchangeable pieces. So cute for $19.99, gonna be on sale. And last but not least, I wanna show you the Chameleon Reinkers. Very limited. We have every color. We're only selling it in the I Want It All set because they are so limited and Chameleon is not expecting another order in for about two to three months. So if you have already purchased the Chameleon pins and you are going to need to re-ink them, you need to get the re-inkers. They will last a very long time. It comes with everything you need in each color. It comes with a dauber, it comes with the re-inker. I would go ahead and get the little tweezers so it's easy to take the nibs in and out. But Scrapbooking Made Simple is one of the very few places you are going to find the re-inkers. We bought all they had, truly all they had. <laughs> so we've got a few sets left, and yes, these are also on sale. All right, I am going to tilt on up, and I'm gonna say, 
Hey everybody, it's me, Stacy. <laughs> Sorry about the little tear. That was that. That tells you what not to do. Don't pull too hard. Whoops. <laughs> Where are you going to find all of these wonderful products? You're going to find them at scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Scrapbookingmadesimple.com. And our goal is to get all regular orders. So all of this product, it's our goal to get it to you within 30 days of you placing your order, or having it shipped within 30 days of you placing your order. None of this is on pre-order. All of this is available now. So our goal is to get it to you within 30 days. And for those of you who know us, that's a woohoo hoo ka -choo for us. And, um, and the girls have been doing really, really, really great. I have a new SMS girl to introduce you to, so maybe next week I will do that on Facebook, but she's up here shipping away. So um, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. I hope you guys have a really wonderful Mother's Day, and I will see you next week, or next 10 days. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Bye.